Nigerians have called on Pastor Paul Enenche to please apologize to this woman that gave testimony in his church about being a graduate, which Pastor Paul Enenche referred to as fake and false um, testimony. What happened? We saw this lady in the church saying that God, testifying to God for being the first graduate, I think in her family, that it took her some years to graduate from law. She was giving this testimony up until Pastor Paul Lenenche uh, interrupted and asking her degree in what? What exactly is the name of the degree she studied? She said it was degree in law. He said, what do you call it? She now said, BSC, sir. When she said this, Pastor Paul Lenenche outrightly told her that you are lying, that it is a false testimony. And the woman became so ashamed. And what kind of degree is it? My medicine is MBBS. B BSC, sir. BSC in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSC in law. law you either have LLB, LLB or BL. LLB, LLB. It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. BSC law. Now, Nigerians have dug up the video of this said woman's graduation ceremony. And true, true, this woman went to school. And she studied law as she said but according to dr paul he said that the woman could not um, doesn't speak a uh, good english or uh, couldn't express herself that is that how a law a law graduate should speak now look at this woman closely look at her Using mommy and daddy for her sake if you watch very closely that, you see that this woman is fidgeting she's scared she has so phobia for crowds and it's not only her, it can happen to anyone I, I remember the first time i went for job job interview i've not even started the interview like that i was just sitting with the woman and i couldn't express myself i don't know what happened i could not me i couldn't express myself it was after that time i had to talk to myself and i improved so i understand my, maybe this woman has phobia for crowd so we all can see that this woman has stage fright see her her body is shaking her body is shaking as she's saying those things we know how it is imagine the dynamics uh, church auditorium Imagine everybody. And I think the question the pastor asked her threw her off balance immediately. It can happen to anybody. You start thinking about your degree. Like, you start thinking about your degree. I have gone to an interview and I presented my certificate. I studied English and theater arts in the University of Nigeria and Soka. I presented my certificate. That was my first time looking for a job. Like, my first time. I presented my certificate to this woman. And this woman outrightly how do i speak it and this woman called my certificate fake like it does not have a seal it does not it don't it does not have seal not seal it does not it looks so simple that the certificate looks so simple what kind of certificate is this that is not real she now brought out uh, other certificates in her office like that this is how a certificate you know they are very very busy like this one this, uh, they will do uh, call, uh, all those border 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 but their certificate is quite busy but UNN certificate was just plain. The only thing you will see there is that authentic seal there. Do you understand? And I was just um, a graduate that just came out from school. I'm just, I just came out from school. And I've not looked for a job before. This is my first time using my certificate. And this woman called my certificate fake. I became surprised. I said, no, ma. <laughs> and I was there in her office with my stepmother-in-law that took me there for her to give me a job. And this woman watered me this woman brought down my self-esteem right before my very eyes i couldn't even say you know i became confused i said no nah, eh. <laughs> do you know what happened when i left i started calling some of my uh when i left i started calling some of my uh, classmates please oh, have you looked for a job with a certificate because where i went they said my certificate is fake this one the other one hey they said no that's i said please snap your own and show me and they said it's the same certificate i said i don't know what this woman is saying where i went to look for a job oh, that my certificate is fake ha like play like play oh um, i even had to ask my lecturer i had to send that ask my lecturer i think that my lecturer did not even reply me because me i was even feeling ashamed they would be like i don't even know what you are doing but if you are in my shoes, I haven't looked for a job before. And so the first place I went, they said that my certificate is fake. I became very confused. You know, as I asked my lecturer, he didn't even answer me. I think so. I said, maybe they feel that. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Now, I could come even like that. So when my friends now showed me their own, you know what I did? I had to talk to myself. No, don't allow someone bring you down. 
Don't allow someone bring down your self-esteem. Don't do this, because I know myself. I just, act, I, after everything, I just told my mom. Because even my mother-in-law was now, I said mother-in-law was like, I know, I'm, maybe inside her mind, she might be like, ah, ah, is it fee? You know that kind of thing, but she couldn't. I said, I know what to do. Okay. The next day, I told her, I'm going back to that woman. Because I've seen every other person's certificate, and it's the same thing. I am going to her office, eh? And she will apologize for this humiliation. I will not take it from her. I'm telling you, this is what I did. The next day, I took my child. I took my child to her office. I told her, I went to her office. I, I sat and I told her, what you did yesterday? Please, ma, this is not how things are done. The certificate you condemned right in front of my mother-in-law. I had to even ask so many people, even my lecturers, and this certificate is the original certificate. This is how UNN certificate is, please. You now have to even humiliate me in front of my mom. Those things you said, now how would she be feeling? Maybe I didn't go to school. Or maybe I forced certificate. Why would you do that? Oh, my way I spoke to the woman. Because I was mad. This is my first time looking for a job. And you want to break me down. I, had it been I didn't go, go to her, I wouldn't have ever, ever looked for a job again. Because of that trauma. The way I spoke to her, I trust myself now. I won't insult you, but don't do that. The way I spoke to her, this woman said, and I put it, I make sure I recorded it. So I, I need to clear my face in my in-laws, with my in-laws. Now, wow, I want for you. I need to clear my face. Like, now I put her for record. She don't know. Now she they beg. She they apologize. I'm so sorry. It's not like that. See, I don't like what you did. That's not how to talk to people. Hey, 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 my I can look your face. That's not how you talk to people. It was bad. But I'm so sorry. Can, 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 can. She apologized in the voice. So I make sure I enter. As I reach her to my mother-in-law, I played the thing for her. And she listened to her. She listened to us. She told me, you are brave. You are bold. I like what you did. Yes. So what am I trying to say? That was, by the way, what am I trying to say? If someone call your real hustle, what you went to school to do, and say it's fake, it used to be very painful. And most times in that uh, sitting, you cannot defend yourself. Oh. In that particular, you cannot defend yourself. Because you ask inside your mind, you, you don't know what to say. It's maybe after, later, later that you can still gather courage to talk to the person. Because it was in front of everybody. So Nigerians are calling for Pastor Paul and Enche to please send an apology to this woman. Saying that she does not, she not knowing how to speak English. It's not a yardstick for you to say that her, her, she didn't really go to school. That her testimony is false. Please, what do you think? Do you think that Pastor Paul and Enche, she still stand his ground? That the woman did not go to school? Even after seeing the online pictures of her graduation? Or do you think, as a man of God, that he should really apologize? For me, I think... He should apologize so that the woman will get her self-esteem back. What do you think? Drop your opinion in the comment section.